Hello, fellow classmates. Um, my name is Natalie Cooper, and I live here in the beautiful Pacific Northwest in Portland, Oregon. And I will tell you that this is my 10th or 11th time trying this recording, and three to six minutes goes by really fast. So I'm going to get right into what I do for a living and my strengths. Um, I am an event coordinator here at one of the largest hospitals in the city and I get asked all the time, well, what does an event coordinator do at a hospital? And the answer is a lot. Um, I do everything from arranging small meetings to medical conferences to events where almost 4,000 people attend. Um, I pride myself on my work and the time and effort that I put into things and working in this career is your natural arranger and Clifton talks about how when an arranger is given a problem they think outside the box to solve it. Um, I That is my every day. I never know what I'm going to walk into, and even if I do, it changes, um, which is adaptability, and we'll talk about that here in a minute. But as far as my arrangement skills go, I have been very blessed in thinking on my toes and seeing what is the best way to do things. Um, I have to deal with so many variables every day that putting them into place very fast is just something that I've gotten very good at. Um, I, I feel like adaptability and arrangement go hand in hand in the world of event coordinating. Uh, adaptability is something that you, you have to be able to do. You have to be able to adapt. I'm not in a position where I can say, no, that's not what I had planned. Sorry, your event's not going to happen. I, I almost like the challenge of adapting, and I like to influence my staff to do that as well. And I feel like that's where my communication skills come in handy. Communication is to inspire others and getting them excited to almost to buy into what you're having them do. Sure, I'm I'm a manager, so I can point my finger and tell people what to do, but that's not fun for me or them, and they're not doing their best work when they don't feel like they're a part of the process. Um, grabbing someone's attention, getting their buy-in, saying, okay, well, how do you think this should go? What do you think the best process is? really making them think will ultimately help the communication process and whatever you're doing. And I've learned over the years with my staff that getting their opinion and their buy-in is so important and they'll enjoy working with me so much more. And when your staff are happy and they enjoy working for you, they do better work. Um, and then when that doesn't always work, there's, there's the command strength in me. Um, communication and command are very similar. They both touch on my ability to connect with others and to move in certain directions. But I do like command because that's that part of me that comes out when I need to be direct and I need to take charge. Um, command is something that didn't happen overnight. It took years to develop that confidence and to know how to say, okay, I was wrong, or no, this is the right way to do it. We need to just move forward, and I need you to follow my lead. And I'm, I'm happy to say that, that it is one of my strengths. Being in management and managing people who are sometimes twice my age was really difficult for me in the beginning. But I learned how to communicate with people who are older than me and to absorb some of their knowledge and get them to buy into what I was doing. 
and I'm really happy to say that that has worked very well in my career. Um, I am, you know, I've talked about being an arranger and how an activator goes into arrangement because you have to be able to think on your toes and put things into place really fast. I've talked about communication and I've talked about command. Uh, the last thing which I had mentioned earlier is adaptability. Adaptability is my life. I am putting out fires on a daily basis, whether it's a cook that didn't show up to work I have to jump into the kitchen and start making food. Or if an event space that I had booked was taken over by a different group, I have to get audiovisual on the phone, I have to get tables moved, I have to run and set up everything by myself. Ultimately I don't care. I do what I do and I get it done. And that adaptability piece is probably my favorite thing because my motto and my staff's motto is we never say no and we're always there to serve our caregivers. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed hearing about my strengths. I look forward to hearing your strengths too and to find out who I can work best with and maybe you've heard some things and think that you might work well with me and I look forward to that. And I hope you all are having a fabulous Friday night and an even better weekend. Take care.